Jaws changed my life personally. I saw it when I was six years old, and it was the first time that I knew what I wanted to do uh, that early. I, I didn't know how to do it, but I knew that, okay, somebody made that, and I could do something like that and have the same effect. I just wanted to tell stories, and Jaws is one of the greatest stories. You know, it's, it's a perfect film, and that's what's so great about the Blu-ray coming out. You know, it's... It's, it looks better than it's ever looked. I mean, it looks better now than it looked in 1975, so I can't wait to see it. Mm -hmm. There's been a lot of great white sightings in those waters where the movie was filmed. Did you have any encounters when you went to go film for the documentary there with some real sharks? You know, it's really funny that one of the stories in the documentary is uh, shortly around the time we were filming, there actually was a great white about 14 feet that actually the pond where the shark goes in the estuary and, you know, mm -hmm. attacks uh, Brody's son and uh, capsizes the man in the boat, Teddy Grossman, there was a shark that had somehow got into that estuary and was just cruising around. And it was funny, in the time, you know, since Jaws, the cry went out, we've got to save that shark. You mm -hmm. know, just uh, the, the fact that Jaws impacted so many people, not just to become artists and storytellers, but to also study sharks, to become, uh, to become mad hoopers, to become shark researchers and conservationists. So they actually were able to rescue that shark and send him back out to sea.